Did you know that astrology can explain why we have such a political divide in our world right now? Ready to learn what it is? By the end of this video, you are gonna understand all types of conflict. It's all gonna make sense to you. Every type of conflict, I promise you, with astrology. Hey guys, I'm JFO, and I have been studying spirituality and astrology for 25 years. And I'm so excited to give you my high vibes curriculum. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you get notified every time I have a new video. So I decided this topic this week because we have a full moon this week. It just happened this week in uh, Libra. So we are in Aries season right now and we had the full moon in Libra. And so I wanted to first break down what a full moon is and why it's always crazy. A full moon just means that the sun is in the opposite sign as the moon. Our sun energy is our conscious energy and the moon energy is our subconscious energy. And so basically our conscious energy and our subconscious energy are totally opposing. In astrology, there's 12 signs, but each sign has an opposite sign. And so I like to look at it as really just six teams of two. And it's these duality lines and these duality themes that we all play into, right? Because we have every sign in our birth chart, it's just where it is located, how much you have of it, how little you have of it, but we have every sign in our birth chart. We also have every house is a sign. So even if you don't have, let's say, Aries in your birth chart, you do have something going on in the first house. You have the first house cusp or maybe a planet there, right? And that first house is Aries. So even if you're not an Aries or have Aries in your chart, you're still going to have Aries theme. Do you see what I'm saying? So because of that, a lot of times we can play with these themes, just understanding them um, as spiritual tools to really learn life in a unique way. It's not just about personality. So for the purposes of this video, I wanted to really focus on this full moon of Aries and Libra, and I wanted to explain conflict using the stages of astrology. So the stages of astrology are survival, social, and spiritual. Let's dive into each one. The signs for the survival stage are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. The signs for the social stage are Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. And the signs for the spiritual stage are Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. The reason why the stages are so important to understand conflict is because it's really gonna help you realize that we all come from a different intention. So survival stage signs are kind of like a baby. They just want their basic needs met. So a baby wants to sleep, eat some food, have a little belly laugh, cry it out, and go to bed. So you will notice that survival stage energy, and I like to say that because if you are a survival stage sign, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're coming from survival. There's a whole destiny line. I'll do a video on that soon. But just know that the survival stage energy is very me, 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 me. Aries is all about self and I want to win and I want to be the best. And Taurus is all about the money and my fiscal foundation and my money boundaries. Gemini is all about mental energy, but for survival. Can I sell this? Can I market this? Cancer is all about protecting the family. It's the emotional survival. It's the home and the family and nostalgia. Basically, to sum it up, survival stage signs are really narrow focused. They're not kumbayaing. They don't want to hold hands. They just want to get the survival needs met. Social stage signs are all about the relationship. Leos want to party it up and make people laugh with their entertaining fun. Virgos want to be constantly working so they can be of service and help everyone they know. Libras love partnership and they love rooting for the underdog and balance and harmony and quality and oneness and peace. And Scorpios want intimacy. They want to be at the rawest level of emotional, social connection. Now we can talk about the spiritual stage. Spiritual signs are all about the bigger picture, the world holding hands as one, humanitarian efforts, and really bringing that spiritual energy to the world. Sagittarius, my sign. 
We're the journalists, the storytellers. We wanna make sure that the story is told and that you understand the meaning, the meaning and the truth. We are truth seekers behind everything we do. Capricorns wanna build systems and structures that are useful, that create amazing spiritual solutions for the world. And Aquarius wants to innovate and bring community and bring that feeling of all togetherness and the group energy. And Pisces is the dreamer and the healer of the Zodiac. They really want that holistic approach, that really spiritual approach to healing our souls and our minds and our bodies. So comment below before we move on. I want to know what Zodiac stage does your sign fall into? And better yet, what zodiac stage do you resonate with the most? Okay, so let's talk about the first duality, okay? Because this is where it gets really fun. So once you go into the dualities, you can play with understanding them using the stages, okay? So the reason why I want to start with Aries Libra is because it's the first duality of the zodiac. That's what's so exciting about it, okay? But not only that, it's our full moon this week, so it's kind of perfect timing. So Aries is in the survival stage of astrology and Libra is in the social stage of astrology. Aries is fire, spiritual action. Libra is air, mental thinking and ideas. Both signs are cardinal energy, which just means that they wanna control, they wanna lead, they want to be creating something. Okay, so. How can we use astrology to understand conflict? Here's where it gets really juicy. Here's where it gets really exciting. So because Libra is social and Aries is survival, Aries is always gonna come from the approach of me, 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 survival of the fittest, where's my money, I want separation, and I want my own stable environment away from you. Libra is always gonna want that equality and that balance and that harmony and that peacefulness and that feeling that we're not just me, 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 that we're we, 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 we. Libra wants that social fairness and connection, that justice, that harmony. Now, one is not better than the other. Here's where it gets really fun. When it comes to our political conflicts of our world right now, what's happening is we have this fight between survival stage and social stage and spiritual stage too. But for this video, we're just talking about Aries and Libra. Some people, their personalities are pure survival mode. They've got a shit ton of Aries. They got a lot of Taurus. They got a dash of Gemini and maybe some cancer in there. And with all that survival energy, they truly, truly believe that the most important thing is the survival needs and not the social agendas. They're more concerned with the financial agendas. That's super survival mode. Whereas someone else who has a lot of social energy in their chart, maybe they got some Leo in their chart with a dash of some Scorpio, a shit ton of Libra in there, and maybe some Virgo they're gonna be coming from a social perspective. They're gonna care about the social agendas a lot more than the financial agendas or the survival agendas, right? They're really gonna understand from the, their perspective what matters most is the authentic relationship connection and how we can bring more equality to our world. Now, I'm not gonna to get too political in this video because it's not about right or wrong. It's about understanding that life is a totally different map of the world based on your personality. We all got different agendas. We all got different intentions. And when you recognize astrology, when you recognize the different opposing viewpoints, I am telling you, conflict gets a whole new meaning. You realize that at the end of the day, it should not be about conflict. It should be about understanding, communication, and compromise. So in summary, when we talk about the first duality line of Aries and Libra, we recognize that we are on one side of this duality line. Either you resonate with this idea of wanting to win, wanting to be number one, wanting to be the best, and wanting to fight for your argument and your opinion and your belief that's more from a survival perspective, 
Or maybe you're on the other side of the coin and you love harmony. You don't really like too much conflict. You want peace and justice and oneness and really just beauty in the end and relationships. And that's very Libra. And what's so cool about this is even if you're not an Aries Libra, you are on one side of this duality. One of these sides is more of your comfort zone. And this Aries Libra is, it is the political division of our world. It's the Aries energies fighting the Libra energies. And when I say that, I'm not talking about the sign. I'm talking about the personality, the personalities that want the self agenda versus the relationship agenda. What's gonna serve our relationship in the world versus what's gonna serve our self in the world. One's not more right than the other, it's just a different perspective. And so when you recognize that conflict isn't really conflict at all. It's just a different intention, a different agenda, a different map of the world. And we need to bring love and bring high vibes and recognize that we all are just coming from our own unique perspective. If you like this video, share it with your friends, comment below, like it, subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to catch you next week when I'm gonna be talking about more high vibe spiritual tips. And join me at highvibeswithjfo.com where I have my free six day e-course called Vibe School. It's my free life coaching course. We're gonna customize self-help for your personality. I'll catch you there, just sign up below. Remember, you have a unique spiritual destiny that's special for you. You are a star in the movie of your life and you are telling it every single day. So keep shining your light and I'll catch you next week on the High Vibe Show with JFO. At home, brush the sea. If she called or even left a message, follow me in a flash all along.